everyone. Welcome back to the Business Beat, Florida Trends Weekly News Roundup. I'm your host, Ami Alexander, bringing you the top can't miss stories for the week of August 13th, 2021. <laughs> According to an analysis of state-level data by El Nuevo Herald, the Delta variant has caused the worst hike in COVID-19 infections since the pandemic began last March. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reports the state has shattered records for both COVID-related hospitalization and single-day new cases several times in the past two weeks. Florida stands to receive over $16 billion in infrastructure-related projects as the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act moves closer to becoming law. Florida's two senators voted against the $1.2 trillion bill, which passed the U.S. Senate with a 69-30 vote on Tuesday. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity reported accommodations jobs were down 40% last year, but hoteliers say the labor shortage may be easing. Recent job data suggests a combination of increased worker vaccinations and the end of federal supplements for furloughed workers has led to an uptick in Floridians rejoining the workforce. As COVID rates surge, more businesses are requiring employee vaccination. Currently, federal law allows employers to mandate vaccination as a condition of employment, though accommodations must be made for those with a disability, medical issue, or religious objection. The ongoing conflict between state law and businesses' rights could be moving to a bigger battlefield as the Florida versus Norwegian Cruise Line fight heads to appeals court. If the district court's ruling is upheld, it may set the stage for more companies to require proof of vaccination before rendering service. And that's your beat for the week of August 13th. We'll see you back next week.